Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about linear and progressive springs. I have a linear spring here and I have a progressive spring here. Now, when a linear spring is compressed, it maintains the same spring rate throughout compression, all right? So you get a very linear feel in the car's handling, okay? Now, with a progressive spring, when it's compressed, as the spring is compressing, the spring rate will increase. So the spring rate will get stiffer and stiffer while it compresses, okay? Now, when do you use these springs? What part of the car do you use them? Well, it really depends on many factors. It depends on the track conditions, your driving style, even the car that you're using. Now, a lot of x-ray car drivers use this spring setup here because it works for the x-ray cars. Now, this can be said for other chassis as well, but you might not get the same performance as you would for these springs as they were intended for the x-ray car design, okay? However, I've had some great success with uh, using progressive springs on the front of end of my car using 2.5 to 2.8 on the front and 2.6 on the rear. Uh, I found that this offers uh, the best uh, handling uh, when it comes to uh, uh, precise steering. Like it actually gives you a lot of steering, but it, it gradually gives you that steering when you're going into the corner because when the car is steering into the corner, as it compresses, the spring rate increases, which will give you steering as it compresses, all right? However, it can be a little bit too much for some drivers. It can make the car a little bit too twitchy. So, if you find that uh, your car is too twitchy with a progressive front spring, what you can do is simply run linear springs front and rear. And, you know, I've had great success with running uh, linear springs front and rear. And, you know, most top drivers prefer uh, linear springs because it makes the car easier to drive, more predictable, and uh, it tends to be a lot smoother when you're driving out onto, driving on like uh, various surfaces. So when it comes to progressive springs, if your car, if the car can handle it, if you can handle it and you can be fast with it, use it. However, if it's making your uh, car too twitchy and undrivable, then I would suggest switching over to linear springs. Um, because linear springs, as I mentioned, really makes the car easier to drive and it makes it a lot more consistent. And consistency will win races. You know, you can have a fast lap uh, of the race, but, you know, consistency wins over the fastest lap. You know, it's just one lap. So I would suggest for someone who's starting out to work with linear springs first. And as your level improves and your driving style improves, definitely try out progressive springs on the front and linear on the back and uh, see how that works. Um, from my experience, when running progressives on the front, I've had to uh, turn down uh, the, the steering uh, rate just to accommodate for the twitchiness that uh, the progressive springs will have on the front end of your car. However,